Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the first video in a new set of videos I'm going to be doing for Field Survey Fridays. So we're going to go over maybe one, maybe two topics in a couple of videos, short videos, 10 minutes or less, about how you can effectively manage field surveys. These videos were inspired by the webinar I did for CLSA last week entitled Practical Management of Field Surveys. I know the webinar filled up, not everybody got to attend, so I wanted to do some short videos. I'll try and do a couple of these every Friday until I've run out of stuff to talk about, which hardly ever happens, but uh, we'll see. So look for these every Friday. Make sure you subscribe to our mailing list if you're interested in these. These are videos for surveyors. A lot of my videos are for non-surveyors. That is not the case here, so if you're not a surveyor, you will not hurt my feelings if you go look for something else on YouTube. All right, for the surveyors that are still with me, uh, we're going to do two videos for this uh, coming Friday, Field Survey Friday. The first one is uh, Enforcing Accountability with Written Instructions. That's the theme. That's what we're going to talk about. And I find that that's really important. So I've been lots of different places. I mentioned in the, in the webinar, I've, I've worked at, I don't know, a half a dozen or so survey firms. Some were small, some were big, some did public work, some did private work, some were union, some were non-union. And consistently across those organizations, the major pain point is the interface between field and office. That's what I call a point of failure, and often things fail there. And I'll, I'll just give you kind of a typical scenario in the day of the life of a survey manager. There's a problem on a job. The survey manager asks his team what's wrong. The field crew says, oh, we got a bad handoff from the office. The office says, no, that's not true. The field crew didn't follow instructions. Everybody's kind of pointing their fingers. How do you fix that problem? That was one of the key challenges I had at more than one place where I worked. And the key is written instructions. That's how you enforce accountability. So you make the office surveyors provide instructions to the field crew in writing. You make sure that the field crew brings back good written notes and reports to the office what happened. And that allows you to have accountability if a problem comes up. It does two things. It allows you to have accountability if a problem comes up because you know who said what. And it also helps prevent problems because when people got to write stuff down, they think a little more carefully and uh, some problems are avoided there. So you kind of, you're killing two birds with one stone. So if you're a survey manager, you want to have written instructions. And we're going to talk about a couple, couple kinds. One is just survey guidelines in general. You know, how should a typical field survey be executed at your organization? We're not going to talk about that today. We'll do that in a different set of videos. And the other is written instructions that apply to a specific job. We will talk about that today in our next video. We're going to talk about what goes into a field package. That's a set of written instructions that will apply to a particular survey. We will do another video on a different day that talks about what should your field crew bring back for your office surveyor that, that's in writing. How should they re report the results of their work in, in writing? So... The office has a responsibility to provide the field crew with a good written handoff, a good set of clear written instructions. I always tell my office surveyors, if you hand the field crew a napkin sketch and they bring you back a pile of dog poop, do not complain. Right? So now, there are good party chiefs. I've worked with a couple. They're rare, but you find them where you give them an address, they'll bring you back a good boundary topo with everything you need. That does not happen very often. Those guys aren't. Those guys aren't around a lot of them, and I don't think it's fair. It's not fair to expect that of a party chief, especially a newer party chief that doesn't have the experience. You need to tell him what to do, how to do it, why he's doing it, and when it needs to get done. Okay, What to do, how to do it, why, to, why he's doing it, and when it needs to, to get done. So for example, let's say you're sending him out to do an elevation certificate. All right, What is he doing? He's doing a field survey for an elevation certificate. He needs to know that. He's going to run a level loop to a bench, and he's going to collect elevations on the structure and adjacent to the structure. That's what he's doing. How is he going to do it? How is he going to set his bench? He's going to set a benchmark with static GPS that we can tie to a course. And how is he going to obtain the elevations? He's going to, he's going to use his level and his rod to get those elevations. Or maybe he's going to use a total station with a reflectorless EDM. You know, he could, he could do both ways. But you need to explain to him how, he's, how you want him to do it. Why? Why does he have to do it that way? You got to use the level and the rod because the elevations on this are critical, right? That's the why, okay? Why are we doing an elevation certificate? We're trying to figure out if the structure's in or out of the floodplain, right? You got to teach your chief, teach them those things, okay? Why, when? When do you run the level loop? 
you run the low loop as soon as you can, you know, when do you set your benchmark? Set your benchmark first, right? That's what, you know, I'll do that first, then go tie the structure. Then when you're all done with your level loop, take your pictures, whatever order you think is best, okay? So you got to tell them what, how, why, and when. And then you need to quickly follow up on the field survey. Uh, this was a big, uh, this was a big pet peeve of a couple of my bosses who will, <laughs> who will remain anonymous. Um, I always had too much to do and my team was always stretched thin. So we had a hard time, you know, we, we'd review the results of a field survey two, three, four, five, sometimes 10 days after. It's hard to fix problems in. It's hard to hold the crew accountable when that much time has passed. You need to quickly review the field survey. If you can, the same day, if not the same day, the very next day. And I know I'm telling, I'm telling my former employers that they were correct. Um, they were, they were correct. Prompt, prompt review of the field survey is important. Okay, so that's how you that's how you hold hold your office surveyors accountable. They got to provide a good good package, good written instructions to the crew. They got to do a prompt review of the field work that was done. Like, don't be coming to me two weeks later to complain about the work that the crew did on your job, right? That's how you hold them accountable. How do you hold your field crew accountable in writing? Well, they have an obligation to review the field package before the day of the survey. Okay, which means your office surveyor has to have it ready before the day of the survey. So. They've got a responsibility to review the written instructions that are given by the office surveyor and to ask questions if they don't understand. If you don't hear from the field crew and they go out to the job with the written instructions, the presumption in my shop is that they understood the instructions, right? Unless they get on site and see something that raises a, a question on site conditions. Um, I want to hear about questions on that package before they get on site, the field crew. Second, they need to quickly download so they download every day at the end of the day. Next morning at the latest, the last shop I worked at was a union shop. I had a horrible problem with field crews. They just, they wouldn't download for days. You can't do a prop review in the office of their data. I had people waiting around for stuff to do because the crews didn't download. Unacceptable. Got to hold the crews accountable. They need to download properly. Okay, they need to provide a set of field notes and field photos. And in their field notes, they need to report anything that was funky. And it wouldn't hurt to follow up directly with the project surveyor, you know, if they could, the part of the site was locked, they couldn't get in, uh, they, the instrument was acting funny, if it seemed like all their search coordinates for boundary were 10 feet off in a consistent direction, like, you know, all that stuff we need to know, that communication is really important. So the field crew is accountable to provide, promptly provide their data and their written report of what happened, the field notes. Got to promptly provide that to the office. You can't, field crew, turn your notes in two weeks after the survey was done, and then get upset when the project surveyor realizes there was a problem that you put in your notes, and now it's too late. You have a response. Just like he has a responsibility to communicate to you and to, to have your fuel package ready and plenty of time for you to review, you, field crew, have a, have a responsibility to promptly get him your data and your notes. So, written instructions help hold both sides of that point of failure accountable. The office surveyor that's lining out your crews and the field crew that's doing the work for the office surveyor can't hold those two groups accountable if you don't have things written down. And when I say accountable, I don't mean you got to be a tyrant. I'm not saying that you, you know you got to execute people by you know chopping their heads off with a giant sword. By accountable, I mean helping people to improve where they're weak. And uh, you know if they can't improve, then then you got to figure out what to do. Maybe there needs to be some kind of some kind of repercussions or consequences. Uh, but you can't punish people if they haven't been given enough. You can, but you shouldn't punish people, office or field, if they're not getting regular, consistent feedback, and if you aren't giving them the written instructions they need to perform their job in an effective manner. So written instructions are really important. We'll do another short video that talks about written survey guidelines and how those how those play a role here and hold people accountable. Thanks for watching, guys.